Now, of course, Star GB were at Mac 2020, and in fact, on the Thursday of the Mac 2020 week, MTD CNC would have been filming live on Star GB stand. In fact, our whole day was going to be uh, dedicated to the company, looking at the technologies that they offer, one of which I'm going to touch on now for this program. Um, but more importantly, one of the messages from their company is about the turnkey element of their business, the support that they offer customers, whether it's the first machine purchase or in fact, five or six or 10 machines later, Star GB have an incredible way of supporting their clients. Uh, now, sliding head lathes are becoming so much more adaptable and versatile. And in fact, the SX38 is the machine that I'm gonna be talking about today. Now, this machine really lends itself to complex components. And in fact, these days, engineers are going away from traditional methods of making parts because sliding head lathes are able to accommodate their requirement, make some of those more intricate um, and, and clever components far faster uh, and more accurately and in an unmanned manner. And that really is where sliding head lathe technology is really taking the UK and the global market by storm. Now the SX38 machine, this incorporates a turret on this machine. It accommodates the ability to go up to 42 mil bar capacity um, in the non-guide bush mode. But it is a very, very versatile machine. In fact, I caught up with Matt Lee at Emo last year when this machine was uh, first seen or when I first saw it. And I asked him why they'd introduced it and what was different about this particular model. What was so good about the SX38? Okay, so this is a brand new model for us. So another machine to add to our 38 millimeter range turret and platen arrangement on the main spindle. There's a lot more power in this machine than the older machines that we've got in the range. So 11 kilowatts on main and sub spindle, but not only that, you've got a lot of weight. What's it replacing or is it replacing? What was its predecessor? So its predecessor would be like the SV38R, which we've been making for many years now. It's just an evolution of that. So a lot of things have been learned from it. So where to load the machine is all from the front now. A lot more power in both spindles as well as on the driven tools. Now, because the machine is guide bush and non-guide bush, it means you've got much more flexibility when it comes to thinking about how you're going to engineer your components. In fact, the whole idea behind the SX38 is to enable you to be able to look at a part and think which operation can be done where to the most effective method. Uh, if you were, for example, to be doing a milling operation, you may go away from a driven tool to uh, using the turret, you may do that because you can re uh, remove more material far quicker. And it also means that it leaves other areas of the machine, other tools in the machine to do other operations at that time. Balancing out a machining operation is what the star sliding head lathes are all about in order to produce the parts far quicker. The agility and the acceleration really is impressive. And things like the star motion control and some of the software that they've introduced to the machines like the HFT technology, all of which help you get those components off the machine far quicker. And the fact that the machines are so adaptable, the fact that they have so many uh, opportunities uh, to, to do different operations in different areas is really changing the mindset of engineers and it's making them think I'm doing this part in this way on this machine, but actually maybe I can do that on a star machine. Maybe I can still tackle those heavier parts, those harder materials. And in fact, maybe I can make them quicker. Maybe I can run them unmanned. Maybe the machine will cost me less. In fact, most of Star's customers call their machines profit centers. Really, you need not say any more than that.